Hey everybody, this is Joe. Have you ever had a bad day, bad week, bad month maybe? It does end, believe me, it does end. Um, yesterday ended for me. I was having kind of like blah, down in the dump type feelings and it just wasn't a, wasn't a good thing. I went yesterday and I photograph a lot for restaurants. Uh, a couple in particular, one is Alexander Pierce and the other one is that's an Akron, and the other one is in Canton. It's called Melange. And the people at Alexander Pierce, that restaurant's been there, I think, six years. And most of those people, I think, have worked there from the beginning. Really dedicated, really, really nice people. Um, just, I feel like a celebrity yesterday, especially yesterday. I just truly felt like a celebrity. I walked in there, and they were just yelling my name. They didn't say, well, Joe's not going to be here anymore because uh, the Canton restaurant, which is two doors away from me, has the gourmet burgers that we have here and they never had that because they wanted to keep the menu a little bit different but now that they have that i get burgers all the time but i like a good burger i mean they're made with all prime meats all their steaks are prime very few uh, restaurants offer prime especially around here i don't know if there's any around here that just offer prime but anyways the burgers are made with that as well and phenomenal food the people there i mean they were just the waitresses, the bartenders, uh, the kitchen uh, staff in the back, uh, those guys, they really rarely get praise from people because nobody knows who they are. But I go back there, I take photographs, I take videos of them. We just have a great time. And I've been going there for eh, maybe a year and a half. And I just really, really enjoy it. That lifted my spirits up tremendously. I mean, tremendously. And Today we went to Dave & Buster's. He had an appreciation, employee appreciation day. And so we went over there to Dave & Buster's and it was, I don't know, there's probably like 35 people. And it was really nice. We played some games, had food, and uh, Nick, the owner, says, well, what's it feel like, guys, not to have to serve food? You're getting it served for you. So it was neat. And like I said, the food was good and the company was great. And we just had a good time. You know, this channel isn't all about photography. Um, most of it's probably going to be, but it's about life in general. You can't go by what you see on social media, and you can't see, especially Facebook, and then their highlight reels. And basically, that's all they are, are highlight reels. Reels that people want you to see how their life is, or really it isn't. Um, I know so many people, and I know, I know quite a few millionaires. A lot of them are not happy and I mean that I'm not saying that just to say fill up airspace they're not happy and so when you're not happy no matter how much money you have yes money helps it should help a ton when you don't have to worry about bills or anything else it should be freeing for you but people are stuck in their head and they can't get out of their head and that's why with validation like Facebook Instagram TikTok, what whatever you want YouTube whatever you want to use and you're relying on that um, for validation, you're gonna fall and you'll fall hard. I mean, believe me, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, and I tell myself, you can't do that. So I just feel like it is time to share a little bit about what goes on and in a business owner's life. I mean, it isn't all, uh, I don't know what I wanna say. It, is, it isn't all what people think it is. It's not all glamorous, it's not, um, like praise, hey, you can work for yourself. You can do whatever you want to do. You can go on vacation when you want to. You can do this. In reality, you may be working for yourself, but unless you're independently wealthy, you have to work for somebody, whether it's the customer, which it is, um, your clients that need you for something, you have to go on their schedules a lot of times. It's not all about, hey, I can do what I want to do. You can if you are extremely wealthy, independently wealthy, and you have a passive income, which I mean, a lot of people do, and there's nothing wrong with that, but until you get to that point, you are still working for somebody. So, and I really believe that they're working for people too, even though you have this passive income, because that could end in a heartbeat. Uh, validation has to come from within. If it doesn't come from inside, there's no amount of validation from social media, uh, your neighbors, your you know, these business owners, that's going to help you. It won't help you. You have to have it genuinely in your heart. And you have to know that, hey, if I don't sell another picture and I love this picture, 
that's validation for me. I love it. I love what I do. It's not all money. It's I got into photography in my business because I loved shooting. I love shooting. I love learning new things. I love this video. I've never done video before. This is like, I don't know, maybe my sixth or seventh attempt at video. I'm learning editing. I'm I've, I've learning on DaVinci Resolve. I'm learning on uh, Final Cut Pro and uh, uh, Premiere Pro. And so it's, it's a lot to learn. You know, I'm not 30 years old. I'm 60. And yeah, you can use that as an excuse, but you, you learn so much. You can retain so much more knowledge when you're younger. And I tell people, man, don't waste your time. Learn as much as you can. Learn that foreign language. Learn another program. Learn some skills. Do something that's going to increase your worth, your value, and your mind. Keep your mind busy. Um, so many people I know are wrapped up in TikTok, and they watch that for hours, it seems. What does that do for you? Nothing. It just wastes time. And if that's what you want to do, hey, go for it. But the bottom line is you cannot let people uh, validate. You can't expect them, their validation to make you feel like you're worth what you are. You have to be worth what you are. And whether they think you are, that's their problem. It's not mine. It's not yours. It's their problem. So anyways, uh, take a look at some of these pictures I've been uh, showing you. Uh, it's just a fun life. Restaurant people, I find, are so very down-to-earth and real. There is no pretentiousness. There's nothing. They just are real people, real lives, going through real stuff. And what you see in that kitchen is what they are. It's phenomenal. So anyways, guys, um, I hope you like this video. Um, if I can help you in any way, please reach out. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.